Hello students. So here we go with the uh, one more problem from the isometric projection that is problem number 45. So problem is uh, very simple where we have a square prism uh, which is placed over a, a square slab. Okay. But uh, one uh, important term what is to be uh, remembered here is okay. So the square prism is resting on one of its uh, rectangular faces okay it is not on the square face it is on the rectangular face so whenever we have a uh, say for example uh, this is a square prism okay so this is a square face and this is a square face we have a two square faces and there will be four rectangular faces one two three and four so if you place like this then it is wrong then it should be placed like this okay on the rectangular face okay so except uh, the, that one tricky term uh, so rest and all will remain uh, very simple here okay so what we need to do it here as usual okay the bottom solid is a square uh, square slab of uh, 70 by 25 mm okay bottom one and the top one is of a square prism 30 by 70 okay there is a top one Okay, this is a prism and this is a slab okay so we need to note down these things okay that's a very important uh, uh, whenever we are going with the isometric problem because even sometimes a matter of uh, one bar, uh, five millimeter so if you take in a reverse way okay and if you forget the height of that one and if you change that whatever the thing okay in a hurry so again you will lose the marks so totally we lose uh, 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 all the marks okay we'll get a zero for that one because the, uh, even though the method is proper the dimension of the solid is a uh, uh, totally changed okay though the first thing uh, what we are going to do it here is okay uh, we are going to have a bottom solid which is a square slab here and we are going to take a one uh, horizontal line and one reference point so we need a, a 70 square okay which is thickness of a 25 mm okay so we'll go 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay so you can check it out so everything will be of a 7 because this is a square slab here okay so when this one is done so the thickness of this one is 25 mm so we know how to take a 20 that is two box and half of this one will be mid of this uh, uh, rhombus like structure okay so here so we'll say two and half okay so two and half and again here is two and half okay so now you can see here so in between here this box there is this point which corresponds to the half of that one okay so now once you join these lines okay you can see the line passes through those small dotted lines in between the box okay so that is nothing but whatever the five millimeter which we have taken in order to locate 25 mm is the proper and it comes on a same line okay so this is a square slab so now we need to have a, a square prism okay so which is on the rectangular face so rectangular face is of size 30 by 70 30 by 70 okay so now so 70 one side will remain same okay because so already this is a square of 70 okay so one more side 70 will get reduced to the 30 okay so what we have here we have a 70 okay we need a 30 okay so the change in that one will be 40 so divided by 2 will be equal to 20 that is 2 box 2 box from the corner okay so we can see here okay so we need to place it here like this because it's a rectangle so we can go like 1 and a 2 box from here one and a two box so now if you count one two and a three okay so if not what we said so we need a 30 we need a 30 
so this divided by 2 will give you 15 that is 1.5 volts okay this is from the center okay so this is 70 let me check it out here this is 70 half of this one will be 35 so 5 1 2 3 so midpoint so from the midpoint it is one and a half box so from here one and a point so one and a point so you can check it out all the lines will come on a same line okay so you can go either with a corner or you can go either with the center okay so this is a square but the placing one more solid above that one is a rectangle so we need to take a edge reference so if you join here 70 and 70 so we got a rectangular face okay so now this is a square of face 30 okay so now 30 we have taken so the height should be 30 here so 5 1 25 and then 5 okay so again if you keep it here 5 15 25 and 5 so now if we check it out here see both points will come on a same line okay so now if you can count 70 from here or you can take a 30 from here both will remain same so let me check 1 2 3 4 5 6 and a 7 so 1 2 and 3 so you can check in both the ways okay so again 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 1 2 3 same okay so now if you join A square prism placed on its a rectangular face okay so means uh, when you're going to complete this one so the last thing will be so how we are going to uh, visualize the things okay which are visible to us okay which are not visible to us okay so we are we are not going to keep any dotted line like that okay so very important thing what i said for this problem it is placed on a rectangular face rectangle size of a 30 by 70 that one is very important okay so when you're going to visualize the uh, visibility okay the edges which are visible to the observer from here from here so as usual so we'll see the three vertical lines one two three and the old top face will be visible okay so the bottom face this line will be visible because these are two lines here sorry two solids which are placed one above the other okay and very important this line will be visible till here and this line will be visible till here okay so the rest is all these again three vertical lines and these two horizontal lines so one that one is done 30 degree and degree okay so now so normally people what they will do they will place the square prism in a vertical way okay as I said like this so it should be placed like this okay that is the one only uh, tricky thing which is uh, present in this problem okay rest and all uh, will be very simple okay so thank you.